Det er timing. Det er kraftigt med timing. Det er kraftigt med timing. Ja, ja, ja. Er du klar? Ja. Sker det nu? Skrup, skrup, skrup. Ja, 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 ja. Ja, ja, ja. Me and Ruben got to know each other through the, the last film we did, Force Majeure. And uh, that was the first time we, basically the first time we met actually. And he came from a very sort of strict, uh, rigorous form idea where the camera was always static and the, the shots were always wide and, and kind of inspired by Roy Anderson, the Swedish director, right? And when we met, he wanted to sort of start to, or I wanted at least, to, to break free from that in a sense, to, to start approaching it more from a, from a script perspective. He likes to find the frame first, and then it stays there, because that is sort of his comfort thing, right? So this is where I'm working at now, and, he, and then he stays there. So we, we find that shot, sort of, and then we stick to that during the day. So there's basically no, there's never any, maybe two or three times that we discover that, okay, this doesn't work, so we have to sort of invent something on the set. And then, so the, the improvisation with the actors and the finding the situation, happens within that frame and then he is very sort of uh, strict on camera staying. I'm not allowed to touch it really <laughs> after we set it there. So. Well, I think it's fun with Ruben these days because he nowadays I, I find he's very he has a great sensibility for when the camera should move, I think, and when it shouldn't. So I try, I try to push that uh, when I see sort of where it could benefit the, the situation, obviously, and what we're doing. We have a lot of whip pants in the movie as well, right? <clears throat> that are trying to sort of implement some sort of uh, weird, uh, how to say, unsettling insecurity or something, where the camera could just boop drop sometime. Or... I mean, on those days where the camera stays and it's a fixed shot, it, it can get, almost get tedious, right? Because you, you buy the monitor, basically. And on the other hand, when you have to, to operate and do precise movements, it's sort of very, you're very sort of present and there and sort of takes huge amounts of energy to perform those over and over again and be precise every time. And you're not allowed to correct or anything, right? So you move from one position to the next, it has to be pam there. So. For me, the Master Primes, it's just so, it's like, it's almost like a no choice in, in one way. It's just so crisp and so clean and neat and uh, so it was kind of an obvious thing to choose really for this. I think it's the stair scene is shot on, on the Ultra Prime because of the space and the small head I had to use, but otherwise it's the, mostly the 32 millimeter Master Prime, wide open, more or less throughout the film. Yeah. I work with this fantastic colorist called Sandra Klass. Uh, and she's, uh, she's, she's done it for tw over 20 years. And uh, so we start up by cleaning up, basically, just cleaning everything and uh, putting some windows and, and just sort of making it pop. And, uh, and then Ruben comes in and he always tilts it a bit warmer. It's like, oh, a bit warmer. And basically, we, oh, we end up pretty close to, the, to the, where we, what we were seeing on set in the 709. And I was like, come on, man, can we sort of... Can we be here freshly and see it newly? And then he's like, I think we should honor what we did on set. And I, it's hard to argue with that, I guess. So yeah, we just went back then. 